In this paper we present three systems for augmenting indoor spaces with digital content using interactive, environment-aware handheld projectors. Our prototypes, which explore several different aspects of the design space, are to varying degrees aware of their position and orientation in space and of the environment around them. The first system, the camera projector, is a tethered handheld unit which contains a Pico projector, a coaxial IR camera with diffuse illumination, and an IMU. The IMU provides orientation information, whilst the IR camera can detect objects in front of the device, such as the user's hands and fingers. This enables shadow-based interactions, where a real shadow cast on the image can be used to control the displayed content. Here, this ability is demonstrated using a physics-based simulation. It is also possible to use shadows to instantiate a menu of different icons. When an item is selected with a finger gesture, this is indicated by displaying the relevant icon in the palm of the hand. Another shadow-based interaction technique uses pinch gestures to pan a digital document. A second gesture may be used to activate a fingertip annotation tool. We call our second prototype the room projector because it combines the handheld unit shown previously with a lightweight infrastructure based on four ceiling mounted connect depth cameras. When a user interacts in this space, the absolute position of the projector is tracked using the connect cameras. These devices also generate real-time depth data which is fused to generate a mesh representation of the scene. The raw depth data is noisy. This becomes very apparent when the data from each camera is merged. This is overcome by segmenting out a smooth background mesh, tracking only foreground objects in real time. Since the position and orientation of the handheld projector are tracked, the area which the projector shines onto is accurately modelled. It is possible to place virtual images within the modelled environment and reveal them in the real room, inset in the video, by shining the mobile projector on them in the manner of a virtual flashlight. As with the camera projector, we can detect shadow gestures using the built-in IR camera. Here we show a virtual painting technique where the fingertip is used to project graphics onto the surface behind. Unlike before, this dynamic content may be fixed to any surface in the scene. It is also possible to track the user's hands using the data generated from the depth cameras. In this example, when the IR camera detects a pinch gesture, the user can paint directly into 3D space. Visual feedback is generated in real time using the projector, shown in set. A particle-based physics simulation enables realistic interactions between the user and virtual objects. Feedback is provided to the user by using the projector as a flashlight into the virtual world. Shadow gestures can be used to extend these physics-based interactions. In this example, virtual rods are extended through the shadow to enable physics-based manipulation of virtual 3D content even when it is out of reach of the user. Another way of displaying virtual content in the real world is to cast a shadow of a virtual object as if the projector were a real flashlight. Here, a donkey-shaped piñata is repeatedly struck using a real shadow until virtual candies fall out, as can be seen in set. We can also use the user's hand as a projection surface to reveal virtual content anywhere within the 3D space. Our final prototype, the SLAM projector, combines a Pico projector with a Kinect depth camera and an IMU in a single handheld unit. Applying the SLAM technique to the real-time depth data, the system quickly builds a high-fidelity 3D map of the environment. If virtual content is associated with a model, it may be rendered in place in the real world using the projector. Touch-based interactions are possible because the system knows the geometry of the scene and the relative position of the user's fingertips. Virtual 3D buttons may be activated by reaching into them when they are close by, or by casting a shadow onto them from further away. Digital copies of real objects in the scene can be made. 
Here, a model of a human torso is selected, and a virtual copy which is rendered by the projector and follows the user's hand may be placed elsewhere in the scene. As with the room projector, the geometry awareness of the system enables various particle-based physics simulations. Here, touching any object in the scene causes a stream of virtual particles to be injected at that point. The inset image shows how these virtual objects interact with the digitized representation of the scene, whilst in the main image the virtual content is made real via projection. The close registration between the real world and the projected virtual content is even more apparent when viewed from the user's point of view.